What is up, mi gente, my ladies and gents? So, today my wife got me an early Christmas present, I would like to say, and you guys already see it on the screen. Uh, she got me a new recorder, uh, a field recorder, the Zoom F8N. Now, I actually have right next to it the Zoom F6 right here. Now, you can't really see the size comparison, but it's as far as uh, left to right um, size is, this is about half the size of the F8N. However, the F6 is slightly taller than the F8N. Well, today we're not talking about the F6, we're talking about the F8N. And I'm actually excited to have this recorder. There's pros and cons that I've noticed between this one and the F6. And I'm not going to go over all of them today. That might be a future video. Well, first off, I want to say this is not a review. Uh, this is just more of a, an overview of the Zoom F8. And so first thing, I want to cover how to power this device. This, all right, so like the F6, this has, this has three ways to power the machine on. The first way is with AA batteries, either lithium, uh, and I, I forget what it's called, and alkaline. Now the best one of those three is the lithium to power this device. So the second way to power this is connecting a mini USB cable to a power bank of some sort. Uh, that's a second way to power this. Now the third and last way is actually different from the Zoom F6. Uh, so the first two things I mentioned, uh, they share in common. Uh, <clears throat> you can power the Zoom F6 with a, a battery bank and then AA batteries. However, <clears throat> the last one is different. So really fast, the third option for the F6 is this Sony MPF battery. So you can see right off the bat, the recorder is already small, but this battery is also small too. Uh, and you can find these batteries um, easily. They're very affordable as well, and they're actually really good. I like these batteries. Um, this is actually for my Shogun Inferno um, monitor for my camera. And again, if you guys didn't know, I don't just do sound. I'm also a cinematographer, photographer, um, and musician. So, for right now, we're talking about sound. Uh, so this is the battery for the F6. I want to show you guys the battery for the FAN and It's a bit tricky because it's not you can't just buy the battery. You also need to buy separately The connector the Hiroshi connector and then the charger separately this so this whole system the battery with the charger and the connector to connect it to the zoom F, uh, excuse me zoom FAN costs uh, cost me about $360 and I actually picked up two of these batteries so it came to roughly about $500 just for a battery system so right now uh, first off I'm using the remote audio HiQ Mion series and it's 98 watt watt hours and 6.8 amps hours yeah this is a big battery compared to um, that little one right there one thing I do like about this one is it powers my F6 all day, pretty much, or pretty much all day. Um, and even, like, yes, yeah, taller, but it fits in that footprint of the wideness of this high Q battery. So if you guys don't know what a Rossi input looks like, there it is. So right there, right next to it, you can see the DC in uh, mini USB. Now why they use mini usb um a, i'm not sure uh is an outdated connector but uh if you're like me who has a random box of cables that you're not sure of throwing away but you know you might need in the future then you might have one just like i do next thing that's different from the f6 to the f8n or the f8 this was the n model the more recent model is and I love this feature is it has two SD slots so you could set up redundant recording so if you're on on set or you're doing 
field recording or whatever you're doing with this, you, you're going to feel safe knowing that you, even if one SD card fails on you, you have a backup already. With the F6, you only have one SD card, so you run into the risk of uh, if your SD card is uh, fails on you, excuse my language, but you're shit out of luck. All right, seriously. All right, so on this side, you see, um, we already talked about the SD cards, the mini DCN, uh, mini USB DCN, and the Hiroshi connector input. Finally, we also have the first four channels uh, that are dual combo TRS and XLR uh, inputs. And I like the fact that they're Neutrix. Neutrix are actually one of the best um, connectors on the market. Uh, they've been around for a while. All right, so the next thing I want to talk about is the front. This is, um, I'm going to talk about this next thing, uh, this next feature that really prompted me to want to get this recorder. And that is the Slate microphone and the Slate tone generator. The uh, reason I really like this and really pushed for me to get this device right here is um, you don't have to set up a, an extra microphone uh, into your F, into an F6 uh, or excuse me, into the FAN just to get uh, metadata information on each track you could do so just by toggling the switch over to the, uh, to the left and then you could go be like uh, scene one take one yada 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 sound speed pretty much it yeah and that records on each track and I love that uh, you don't get that at all with the zoom f6 it, uh, you basically have to put in another microphone and that's e even then that's not it doesn't go on every single track, so you basically have to almost yell out loud, uh, excuse me, yell out <laughs> loud uh, in order to get that uh, information in there. Uh, we do have a bigger screen right here. We have the eight knobs right now. I ha I've actually changed them from uh, changing the faders to changing the trim right here uh, because I'm more concerned with how, how hot each uh, each microphone or uh, line input is working. We have the finder, and then you can see the, all that stuff. Uh, metadata, I've already started naming the tracks right here. Uh, track one is boom, track two is lob one, and lob two. Uh, right now, that's how much, uh, that's typically what I use, utilized normally, so that's why I named the first three tracks and not the rest of them. But you have the ability to do so along with the the main file name. Uh, then input is just each input information input source. I've already changed them all to mic so uh, that way we uh, I'm mainly gonna be using this to connect microphones, not like uh, any guitars or basses a bass amp. Just kidding. Uh, bass, amps, yada yada yada. Uh, I might, but most likely not. When I when I, I'm ready to do so, I will change them over to line levels. Let's go back and then output is my output routing. As far as my headphone routing is concerned, I like hearing everything in post fader. I like hearing the left channel to be my boom and then alternate the uh, the lobs. Uh, being right, left, right, left, right, left. That way it's easier for me to identify if there's an issue at all with the certain microphone, I know which one it is. Then you have the same thing with your main routing out and your sub routing out. What we have here is the remaining last four XLR TRS combo inputs. Then we also have a sub out right here. Then we have the headphone connector right here. And then we have the main outs right there. So if I wanted to, uh, my first main out to send out to my boom op I could send that and I could give them their own mix and then I could send out a secondary mix to a Comtex system so either directors or script supervisors or uh, what, what you call it producers can hear what I'm, what I'm recording so going back that's all this right there now record I have it so when re I press record uh, it's recording the in of uh, the eight tracks individually and the left right um, 
uh, stereo mix right here to both cards that way I'm, I have redundant recording next my sample rate is always going to be a 48 and my bit depth is always going to be a 24 I know I could go higher on the sample rate but it at that point it's yeah there's a lot of discussion about this but I think that's pointless uh, because physically the human ears cannot hear that up that high and even with overtones uh, hearing the overtone series in in music uh, or excuse me, like music sound, audio, regular audio sound, uh, you, you're just not going to be able to hear it. So that's why I'm not going to waste the memory space and just leave it at 48. And then uh, as far as MP3 bitrate, I just leave that at the highest, but I don't record MP3s. But when I do, I have that option. The one thing I'd like about this and the F6 is that they both feature pre-record. <laughs> This will save your ass on any set or even in the studio. Um, say for instance, you have a director who's impatient on um, waiting for camera and sound. They already call action on set. Uh, if I press record, it will actually start recording six seconds before I press that button. So basically I could save this take and have not gone go to waste and this has bluetooth so uh, i need to download the, the file from zoom in order to activate uh, the the bluetooth off of my phone and the bluetooth only works for iphones or ipads unfortunately they haven't released anything yet for android so i would say that's a, a not end all be all but it can um if you if you're a person who likes utilizing your phone to uh, control everything that might be something to consider and with this device I can not send signal through my FRC 8 so that's one thing why I went with the zoom f8 over a sound devices mix pre 10 2 aside from costs as well so there's menu and then there's that pre fader levels they it's basically a solo or almost a solo but not necessarily a solo uh, if you want to arm each track you press the numbers and that uh, light pops up red ready to record so if you want to record all of them make sure you press all of them and then you set uh, right now like i said i changed my knobs right here to reflect trim right there so this is the trim right here not the fader and you see that changing if i want to change the fader i will go use this knob right here move over one press and then you can readjust it this is control my mix right here and then finally we have the rewind fast forward stop play uh, pause and record buttons right here and then finally we have the headphones right here the headphone button I actually like the fact that this one's on the front of the device versus the f6 where it's on the side of the device if you guys like this content just leave, leave me a like comment share and subscribe and don't forget that notification bell uh, and tell me what you guys want to see next, right? What is up, mi gente? My lovely ladies and gents. All right, so I want to give you this update of my office. Uh, and thanks for sticking around <laughs> at the end to, until the end of the video. So my office has improved already. There's still a few more things to do here and there, but it's a lot, looks a lot better now. There's more. There's actual walk, walk space, so let me show you guys. All right, so uh, right here now, this is where my sound card's now living. I removed the stuff that was right here before. I have a few things to pick up here and there on the floor. Still a work in progress. Oh, and I also want to give you guys an update to the sound booth. So last you guys saw, let me turn on this light, that way you can see it. Last you guys saw was that I had put up the panels and everything like that. However, what you guys didn't see is the panels actually ended up falling off because the, the Gorilla Glue tape was not strong enough to hold up. So what I ended up doing was going to Harbor Freight. But I bought nails and I hammered them, hammered them in. Uh, now they're up again. I re had to re -put, put up the, or re -put up the sound foam. Uh, to, to get it sick again and now I have my lovely microphone with the Aston Halo come running in here I'm planning to route a 50 foot XLR cable all around that down and then into my 
focus right scarlet 18i 20 third gen audio interface so right now you see one of my microphones right here my Asin halo excuse me not the halo this is the halo the Asin origin and then i just bought these right here i'm sterling uh sterling audio i believe it's brand i got them from uh i got this and another microphone for 100 bucks from guitar center i just want i saw it and i, I liked it and then so i wanted to try it out so there's that so yeah that's my new my my vocal boot at the current moment i am planning also to install a curtain rod to put a blanket covering to cover the uh the doors right here so yeah all right so that's it peace